I'm the star. Let, let me... The lottery ticket analogy. Say it all again. Okay, now... Do it the way you've done it just now. Yeah, I will. Well, okay. Let's say you are in a crowded place... What is this about, by the way? Being positive. Being positive. Right, carry on. Say you're in so a crowded... let's say you are in a crowded place and everything, and... Um, oh, happy birthday, by the way. Again, thank okay, you. Okay, carry on. You are in, in, in a crowded place and everything, and, you, and you're watching the TV, mm -hmm. and they're announcing the lottery. Mm -hmm. And you bought the ticket of the lottery. Now, when the number come, when the numbers comes out, you realise the numbers coming out, they match on your ticket. So, right now, you're the richest man in the world. Mm. So, obviously, you're shooting the stars now. Is it about money or just an example? It's about general life. Mm. So, like, obviously, you're shooting the stars, like, you, you're the happiest person. Mm. But after, you lose your ticket in the same place. Mm. So, you get really sad and depressed. Mm -hmm. The day after, someone, like, a friend of yours, come and knock on your door, and it goes like, oh, I found your ticket that... It fell out like it fell out. It fell out, out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. So you back happy again because wow. you know you, you can get the money. That's right. So basically, that's life that goes ups and down. Mm. The only way to keep it at the same level mm -hmm. is to have that aim that you want to achieve. Because if you really focus in that aim, whatever's gonna come through you, it will not really affect you. Because wow. because you you yeah, you know because you because you, your main concern is. I want to get that. Right. So, and everything does not kill you, make you stronger. So, basically, so say like about the lottery ticket, because I have an aim, doesn't matter whether I win or not. No, 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 it's nothing, no. The lottery ticket was an, was an example. I know, but... I'm saying, if you want to see, like, if you want to get something in life, and you want it really bad, but you see things going on the opposite way, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you say, like, this is not working out, and, and I'm getting depressed. And, and, I, and I'm really scared of what's going on. Mm -hmm. But you still want it. Right, yeah. But, but because you still want it, even the simple things, is it's up to you what you want in life, but because you still want it, and you know you're going to get it with some effort, whatever's going to come through you, mm -hmm. will not really affect you. So what is it? The analogy, you've got to play the lottery every week and don't give up. No. 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 For example, in my case, like, I came here... With an ambition. Mm -hmm. What's that ambition? My ambition was like very simple, just to work and live in England. Why do you want to work? Because I need to earn money. Why? Can't you just bludge off the government? Because it's not enough money in the first place. Why ain't it enough money? Because for rent, saving, <sighs> Can't you food. get a cheap flat instead? And... Well, this is London. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. However, let's not get to that conversation. Okay, that's fine, yeah. I want I wanted just to come here to have a job doing some part-time studying and from there like w when I have an income and I can pay my rent I can you know like okay let's see from here what's what's happening what's going to come next uh -huh. like always improving 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 better and better mm. in a position like okay I'm studying like minimum wage but I know if I work hard I can be a manager of this company uh -huh. but obviously it's not going to come overnight so like this was my aim here now Things like it didn't seem to work in the way it wanted, so I ran out of money. Uh -huh. So I was broke. I didn't know no one yet, so obviously I was alone, uh -huh. and I was and I was in the street. But to be in the street for me, it wasn't that painful because I was mm. still keeping in mind of what I thought at the beginning. So that even though you was homeless, it didn't really hurt you too much. It, it didn't really hurt me because I know what I wanted to get in life. I know how much I wanted, and I know because I deserve it. Why do you deserve it? Because don't you think we deserve things in life? Yes. Simple as. Oh yes, you do. You deserve. You deserve it. You're a human being. You deserve happiness. <coughs> you deserve happiness. What? Well, what's happiness? Um, how do you define happiness? Money. I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Like, how you find this happiness? Is amazing. Like, I. What I, defines happiness for you then? Well, money. Money. Yeah. Is it money? Is it? No, I mean, it's, it's according to life experience and obviously we're different individuals so we have a different story to tell. Right. So obviously my point of view of describing happiness would be different than yours. Or it could right. be similar. What makes you happy? Right now I'm happy. Oh, why are you happy? Because I'm comfortable. Why? Because... 
baby steps I'm getting w w where I want to. Right. How yeah. did you get there? By uh, working hard. Is it? Wow, yeah. that's great. By working that's hard. Fantastic. That's that's um that's all folks. That was um oh and I thought um I thought I had great emotional intelligence. That was fantastic. Happy birthday. Um Ramsey, um twenty one today. Or was it yesterday you were 20? Was, what date yesterday. was it? What on the, you put 21 on the Thursday? Yeah. Thursday was um, Yeah? Yeah. Thursday yeah, the 22nd or the 20, 22nd. Or, 24th. It was the 24th on, on Thursday. Now we're the 26th. It was the 24th on Thursday? Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was his birthday on the 24th on Thursday. Yeah, I celebrated. Of November 2011, 21. Oh, for example. Yeah. Another good example. Oh, of, another example. Of what happened tonight. Make it quick. Yeah. Oh, what happened tonight? With me? No. With who? With, with <coughs> that girl. Oh, yes. Don't you mention know? the name. I'm not going to mention the name. Mm -hmm. But even though I... Had a chance. I had a chance. To fuck her. To fuck her. Uh -huh. In simple terms, I didn't. What put you off her? It doesn't matter. But yeah. even though I'm happy because... I had my drink, you had a good I had night. my chat, oh, I, had I chat. danced with her. You got a number. No, no, you didn't. But I... What Stephen did, you can get off him. I snogged her, so... No, you snogged her, it was a nice kiss. So after all... A girl fancied you, it made you feel good. Exactly. It was a nice feeling. Built, like, it built up my confidence. She acted, a bit, she acted a bit crazy, that's what probably put you off after a while. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you realize so yeah, that you were so, better than her, so you yeah, thought so, oh, no, you can get better than that. Exactly. So yeah, you can get better. So therefore, like. But why, I'm why, happy. why couldn't you think in your head? Fair enough, she's not the best. But why can't you think she's you, it's, it, she can have, you can still have a sex. You don't want to marry her. Why, why couldn't? Why did you have to be so 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 selective? choosy? Yeah, selective when she's just a fuck. You don't want to marry her. Why did you decide because, that right. she's not for you? That well, she's not good enough. She's a fuck. Why did you decide? Can I say? Yeah, yeah. yeah Thank you. Mm -hmm. First of all, I met her tonight and it was the first night. Right. Let me finish. Second of all, obviously, I don't know her, isn't it? So what? Third, guess what? Mm. We're in London. Yeah. You have to be a bit careful who you meet and who you talk to. You reckon she's got AIDS? Oh, God knows what in her brain. What do, you mean, what do you mean brain? You don't need to speak to her brain. You have to, you're not, you're not fucking her brain. I don't understand. I don't, what but do you want? However, you yeah. want intelligence in the bed. I don't get this. Don't you Look, wanna... before she was acting normal and then she switched to other people in a kind of an aggressive way. Oh yeah. So I'm not saying I'm, I was scared of her. Oh right, you're worried she might chop your dick off or something? It, anything could happen. Right? Anything could happen. And then plus she, she might rape still, you. And and then and then plus like she was talking about her husband and she oh, got a kid. Yeah, the kid. Does that bothers you that she's got another man? No, it did. No, it doesn't bother me. But it makes me understand her life is fucked up. So what? Doesn't matter. Your life's not gonna get fucked up if you fuck her. Just tell her goodbye in the morning. What's wrong? Anyway, she was not really my cup of tea. So. Yeah, yeah she was hot. She had a great ass. Well, she made me like she gave me boner. So. Hey. You got a great ass, by the way, love. It's fantastic. But then she tried to make me look like um, a woman beater when she tried to rip my tobacco pouch, and I sort of nudged her, and then she yelled, "He punched me." That was the crazy stuff. Mm. And that's the end of that one. It's going to go. Bye bye. She, I mean, she was from oh. South London, so. Oh, from South London. <laughs> I took I took the mick out of her. I took the mick out of her surname. You hear what I done to her? Her mm. surname was like Kakogi, and I went. And there's Lucy Kokogi, and I went, Lucy, I go by Toyota. And she got really angry. Bye-bye.